All right, coming up next, it is a welterweight showdown between Pascal Kraus and Dong Hyun Kim. Well, he stopped Jason Tan by knockout in his UFC debut that came all the way back at UFC 84 in 2008. And here, 10 years later, the stun gun, Dong Hyun Kim, is still getting it done, Joe Rogan. This is a judo practitioner with outstanding entries and takedowns. This is a guy who has started to pile up the knockouts recently in his UFC career, likely to put on a show here again tonight, the stun gun, Dong Hyun Kim. Dong Young Kim is an extremely talented judo player and a well-rounded mixed martial artist. Very effective takedowns, a solid submission game, and he has some power in that straight left of his. Well, what a pop from the crowd as this guy makes the walk. Such a well-rounded fighter, and you gotta think when the opponent breaks him down on film, not a lot of weaknesses jump out of the video. This is a true mixed martial artist. May not stand out in any one area, but plus skills across the board, probably comfortable just about anywhere this fight goes tonight. This guy has insanely fast kicking technique. If you are within kicking range, you are in a world of trouble. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Kim is six years his senior. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist, only professional record of 22 wins, four losses, one draw, and one no contest. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the stun gun, Dong Young Kim! And now the of his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 11 wins, two losses. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Pascal Panzer Walls! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. And we are ready to go with live action from Toyota Center here in Houston, Texas. Quiet the storm, shot blocked by Kim. That's oh, a hard look. Again. Look at this, take down. Big elbow there. Hip escape, nice hip escape. Clean hammer fist. as he looks to improve position here. Excellent movement here on the ground. He's back to full mount again. Big punch from the bottom. Gets the elbow up into the target. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Back to the mount again. He hip escapes from the full mount. Now he gets the full mount again. In full guard. Back to half guard now. Mount again. Oh, effective strike there by Kraus. The ground strikes starting to pile up. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Big punch from the top. Oh, beautiful elbow. Very strong with the back mount. Just over two minutes, round one. Nice right hand. He 
He's got it again. He's working from full mount again. Oh, elbow to the head. He's doing a great job of utilizing the ground and pound here. Really getting off some excellent shots. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Kim. These are some devastating elbows. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Kim. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Mount again. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Look at this. He's out of it. And back to the mount. Five minutes in the books. Take a deep breath and recover. This next round, we really want to focus on ground control. To set up your takedown. I want you to maintain a dominant. Here's a nasty ground and pound strike. And here is another ground and pound strike. And here's another powerful ground and pound strike. Heavy damage by ground and pound in that round. Brittany Palmer in the building. Here we are, early round two. Good defense there. Krause gets tagged by that stiff jab. He's got to get that guard up, Joe. Oh, nice punch there by Kim. Excellent takedown defense. Oh! oh. Beautiful body shot. shot there, too. He's got him hurt here. He's in big, big trouble. Nice leg kick. Big left. Oh, he's landed some good shots here. Now they're both thrown with power. Have landed there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Yep. Another knee by Kim. Tying up here in the clinch. That knee might have landed there. In the clinch now. Nice trip to get the takedown, Joe. He's working from half guard now. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. And that one cut him open. Well done, Sweet, and winds up in guard. Oh, he gets reversed. Under two minutes now to go. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. He hip escapes. He's out of the full mount. Back to the guard position. Big body punch. Into half guard again. Moves to north-south. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Kim. Back to full mount again. Oh, looks like he might be able to get an arm here, Joe. He's got the arm here. Now he's going to throw his leg over. And he got out of the arm bar. Hip escape. Gets out of the full mount. And he turns it around into full guard. Into a guillotine. Choke sunk in. That choke is deep. And that's the end of round number two. Oh, and there's 
the horn at the end of the round, so the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. And here we see it from a different angle. Last round. We need to be smarter. Technically, you're a better striker than he is. Ariane Celeste in the building as usual. Ready? Ready? Third and final round. Now, starting off this round, he might still be hurt. He's going to want to look to be defensive and move and avoid getting hit and try to recover. Lanza, glancing right hand upstairs. Big punches. Oh, gets the single leg takedown. Pretty good velocity on that one. Oh, look at that transition. Kim got caught by that elbow, or so it appeared. Yes, he did. Connects there with the punch. Trying to take the back here. He's looking to pass. So far, a frantic pace as expected. Staying busy here on the clinch. Now goes to the knee to the body. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Changes his stance. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Grouse gets caught with that punch. Oh, there's the single. He's back up to his feet. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, that left thigh, Joe, really starting to show signs of bruising now. Yeah, and here he goes again. Back to orthodox. Oh, that's a big block, Joe. Went for the inside leg kick. Gets away from the clinch. Now he goes for the single leg. Oh, and a nice shot there. Nothing telegraphed about it, so he lands another takedown. The start to really pile up here, and his opponent can't see the entry. So, heady stuff here with the takedowns. We'll see if he can execute here now on the ground. Reversal here, and into full guard. Nice punch to the body. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. He's getting off some very nice ground and pound here. Elbow now to the head. That one landed by Krebs. It looks like he's got his arm. He's got the arm here. Now he's going to throw his leg over. He's got that arm bar locked up. He might get a finish here. What a fight. All right, so this one will go to a decision. I am glad I'm not a judge. This was a tough fight to call, especially because both fighters nearly won the fight by submission. So let's see how the judges weigh those submission attempts, and let's see who they see as the rightful winner of this outstanding matchup. Round three, it looks great. Perfect technique, tries to lock it up, but loses it last minute. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 9-28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Pascal Panzer All right, so there he is, your winner tonight by way of decision. So he didn't get the finish that he was looking for, but he will certainly take the nod there and the accompanying win. Money, congratulations on one of the bigger wins of his UFC career.